Good day, fellow scapers. My name's Deck, but please call me Hobo and welcome back to my channel. So, for those of you who've been watching my journey on RuneScape recently, I am still absolutely, of course, chomping at the bit um, for my Master Max Cape. But more and more, especially when you're progressing along the more grindy stuff, um, I'm starting to find myself procrastinating a little bit more and more every single day. And of course, we have all been guilty of this. The number one most ineffective, inefficient, and least productive ways that you can be pushing your account is, of course, bank standing. And we, like I said, have all been guilty of it at one time or another. And what I've been doing, I've been doing a little bit of thinking just around what it is that I can be doing to ensure that no matter what, I'm staying productive when it is that I'm playing RuneScape. And even if it's the case that I've only got 5, 10, 15 minutes to spare before I'm jumping into some PBM, or whether or not I'm chatting on Discord, I'm going to be heading out, or potentially even I'm going to be walking the dog and I just want something to do in the meantime that's almost completely AFK. Um, I just need one of these methods to ensure that I can, no matter what, be progressing my account at all times. So during this um, journey, I figured, you know, I'll be showing you guys a little bit around what I'm doing, but also potentially help you progress some of your goals, whether or not it is you're pushing to level 99, whether or not it's you know, pushing to 120, just something to help you guys on your way as well. So firstly, I'm just going to jump straight into it now. Um, we're going to talk about something PBM related. And that is, of course, one of my favorite guys in the world um, for AFK. And that is Arch Laser. One of the best things about the Arch Laser is the fact that he drops things that are going to be essential for me in my journey um, to 120 summoning. One of the re reasons for this is he drops a fantastic amount of blue charms. It's probably the reason as part of this event why Arch Laser is going to be one of the only um, one of the only creatures and bosses in the game who doesn't have his blue charms tripled during this event. So I'll show you what I mean. The best thing that you can do is have yourself a nice easy setup. This requires absolutely nothing at all. No potions, no auras, no familiars. Um, really nothing at all um, in your inventory. All you need is a half decent setup. So that, you know, for me, I've chosen my most basic outfit for PVM, and that is the Death Dealers outfit, um, along with my uh, tier 90 weapons as well. One of the things that I would recommend is absolutely having the um, Conjure Army ability on the start of your Revo Bar. But basically, this is something that you can do at any time of the day. You just jump straight in through Wars Retreat and you look at the Arch Graysaw. And, you know, at that point, I can just start passively earning charms. I, it requires no input from me whatsoever. Just pick up the um, items every couple of kills. And the best thing is, this, this boss really does only take about 30 seconds to kill using the method that I've got on screen and the Revo Bar that I've got on screen. And if you're lucky, the nice thing is about the Death Dealer outfit is the fact that you can occasionally death mark him. You'll see probably in the top part of the um, top part of the screen there, um, there is a death mark on him. So as soon as he hits, I think about 20k, uh, there you go. And straight away, like that, I've got 10 blue charms, nice. And then, you know, you can just leave the loot, loot, um, your loot tab open. And that is one of the nicest ways to do it. You'll see there um, that I've, I, it required nothing from me. My health is max. And of course, with the right um, relic setup as well, all of your adrenaline comes back to max as well. So that's one of the methods that I'm going to be doing to ensure that on my way to training my summoning, I'm going to be using the Arch Laser just as one of those passive AFK um, type things. It's nice and relaxing. I don't have to do anything. Now, before I did go any further, I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys around um one thing that um i would really like to see as well if this is your first time coming to my channel then firstly welcome if it's your second third fourth time and you're not subscribed and um, doing things like subscribing to the channel liking the video and commenting on the video really really helps with the algorithm and this is something that i want to be doing i want to be releasing more content to yourselves i want to be sharing what it is that i'm doing in runescape and potentially how you can be growing your own account in runescape as well so if you know you should see on the screen at the moment what's around the statistics around the number of people who are subscribed based on the last video but um yeah if you could do the uh you know if you could like the video you know potentially consider subscribing it would mean a lot to help now with channel progression but enough of that. I'm going to talk to you about the next way that I really, really like um, uh, progressing the channel as well. And of course, with this, typically um, the way that I'm training the skill in at, at, at the bare minimum is doing a Guthix cache every single day. It's you know five minutes worth of work. I get seventy or thousand experience off the back of it. But once you've done Guthix cache after a certain period of time, you will start earning things like the um, Elder Divination or the Diviner's outfit off the back of it. And one of the benefits from this outfit 
is the fact that you can actually use it to teleport to a colony and with this you, it requires literally no setup so colony teleport i'll just go straight to the incandescent wisps and we'll kind of go from there so that is one of the nice things as well i can literally just afk i don't have to do anything um, when my um, when my inventory is full, of course, I can dump it. But again, that makes it nice and AFK as well. So it's up to you whether or not that is something that you'd be interested in doing or whether or not you just want to do something like graphics cash to earn the um, experience passively. But a nice thing about this as well is you could sell it so that you are always collecting the incandescent energy. So whether or not you're going to use it for divine charges or whether or not you, know, you might just use it for the experience, it's entirely up to you the way you'd like to do it. But that's another one of the methods that I'm doing to just ensure that I'm staying productive at all times during the day. Now, another one of my favorites as well, and this is, for me, this is absolutely spot on because I literally don't have to do anything once I'm there. I have to click the button once every every 10 to 15 minutes. And that is, of course, mining the corrupted ore at Prithinis. So if I was to show you how much ore I've gotten just from using this method alone, uh, I'm now at seven and a half thousand, which isn't a massive amount, but it's indicative of the amount of time that I've just spent doing literally nothing on here whatsoever. And the nice thing about this is because of how AFK this is, it means that I can do whatever I want. I can be walking the dog, I can be, you know, chatting to the wife, I can be talking on Discord, I could be playing another game, or potentially even just watching t um, TV in the evening. This is such a chill way of doing things. Um, it really is one of those things that I enjoy doing. And I, I suspect um that this is probably going to be one of the things that i enjoy doing the most on my road to uh 120 because it requires almost no effort from me whatsoever so yeah that's another one of the things that i'm doing um another one of the things i'm doing as well now again this this may be one of the things that helps to progress your account and that is wood cutting if you're a relatively high level in wood cutting then what you can be doing especially if you've got a nice little setup so i've already got um, a lot of the bits and pieces and I've got you know a lot of the um, outfit as well which means that I'm always gonna have a high chance of um, of uh, cutting down trees and stuff like that is having three separate teleports to the elder trees and the nice thing about the elder trees firstly um, that I like doing is um, I'll normally have a pair of it like one earphone in just so I can hear what's going on but I've mentioned it before in one of my previous videos and that is um, it's very few sounds that are associated with wood ch chopping apart from oh, um, apart from the thunk thunk of chopping down trees so what you'll hear is literally you can just leave it it's an instant thing as well so and the nice thing about this is this has unlimited teleports i can use my cabbage patch port uh sorry my explorer's ring to ca um, teleport to the cabbage patch um and that will basically send me to Falador. Um, and then I can go back to Cruis, uh, Cirrus, whatever it is, um, over in Prithinus as well. So unlimited teleports for this. Um, and literally all I need to do is keep an ear out for the thunk thunk and then eventually the sound of timber crashing. Um, but that is a nice, easy one as well. This would actually require, though, the use of your um, Grace of the Elves. So that is something that I definitely recommend having in place. So yeah, that is another one of the things that I like to do um, just to make sure that I'm always staying a little bit more productive. Um, it requires very little from me. Um, you know, this is a very hands-off type activity to do. And the, the rates for wood cutting, and you'll probably see on the screen, I'm 108 wood cutting. I've been tr I've been doing elders or golden bamboo um, since I think level 99. So this is one of one of my favourite methods, particularly because golden bamboo. You know, once you've gone there. Um, during, um, if you've gone to your personalised island, it still takes supplies if you teleport or it teleport out or come back and then go back again. So with Golden Bamboo, you have to kind of, unless you want it to cost you a little bit extra, you have to kind of commit to doing the full Golden Bamboo. And I've got three on my personalised island, so it wouldn't work out too well for me. Um, but definitely, this is one of the methods that I enjoy doing um, around this. So yeah, that's another great example. And with this as well, one of the nice things is you also get the speak the devil bird's nest and if you're doing elder trees as well there is always a chance that you're going to find an incando piece um so that is particularly great if you're passively earning yourself something like an incando piece on your way to an incando hatchet um it, that's that's going to be absolutely sublime especially if you afk that and you get it predominantly just from you know it's doing something instead of bank standing so yeah that's another one of my favorite ones now Another one, if you have got a little bit of time to spend and you've also got a little bit of focus that you can give 
of course one of the best things that you can be doing especially if you've got five minutes is a farm run so of course with this um i would advise having an ecto file if you may not you know in your inventory if you don't have the master farmer hat that gives you the teleport to mauritania however this is another great one um the the, the activity itself for herb picking is so short it takes me six minutes to do a full run um, and that includes my worldly teleport as well and again that's absolutely fantastic if you've got six minutes to spare this is absolutely an activity that you want to be doing of course you can only do it a couple of times or sorry once every couple of hours based on the growth rate etc but yeah that is something absolutely you want to be doing instead of bank standing like i am now so what i'm going to do i'm going to finish this video here like i said before if you liked the content please consider subscribing to the channel drop me a comment maybe you know even like the video as well all of this really really does help with the algorithm but apart from that i'll catch you guys in the next video happy scaping.